In a previous video, I showed the process of converting an Age of Sigmar Bulgor into an orc. Specifically, one from the Beast Arises series. The orcs in that series were massive, boys the size of knobs and knobs the size of war bosses, and their armor and weapons brutally sophisticated. It was a fun conversion, and in this video I'm continuing it by converting another. For my second beast orc, I wanted to base him off this piece of concept art I've always loved since it really brings the dark, brutal aspects of the orcs to the front. Unfortunately, it's also mostly black space, so it took some interpretation to figure out what was going on. As with the first knob, I started by expanding the proportions of the original Bulgor. This time though, I cut the sheet in the center of his chest on an angle so that his shoulders would be hunched forward, which would make his later stance easier. The arms of the Bulgor are too stubby otherwise to reach to the other side of him. I shaved down his chest and gave him feet, then started working on his chainsword. A Space Marine chainsword might seem like the logical place to start converting, but they're too small for a knob of this size. Instead, I opted for piecing together three orc chain weapons and added some techie bits. It didn't really look like the original, and worse, once I put it in his hand I realized that I simply wasn't going to be able to replicate the concept art. The chainsword arm looks too static, and hunching inward simply isn't that strong or tough looking of a stance. I started anew by bashing together my knob a Daka rifle. For the grip, I cut up a flash kit's rifle and sawed off the barrel. I replaced it with this gun from one of the orc vehicle kits. It fits pretty seamlessly and is an appropriately large Daka dispenser. For the knob's new pose, I wanted him to have the rifle hefted in his right hand. It was tricky to position correctly as the original arm is doing more of a pumping upward motion. It wasn't terrible, but also not quite what I wanted. To fix it, I cut his arm open and repositioned the elbow. This worked pretty well and giving the rifle a stock also helped. The next big decision was what armor my orc was going to have. I tried out a couple of different plates for the chest, but wasn't quite happy with any of them. Breastplates are really hard to figure out, since they have to match up with the chest pretty tightly or they look awkward. A little of that is okay for an orc, but the orcs of the Beast Swa are described as having more sophisticated armor than the normal orc, so I wanted to avoid a scavenged look as much as possible. The other challenge is that unlike with my first beast orc where his chest was tilted downwards and his arms inwards so his breastplate isn't particularly visible, for this one he's standing tall and with his arms out, meaning the breastplate would take center stage and have to cover all his chest. Eventually I settled on this breastplate from a Skaven Stormfiend. It's a little bulbous, but I sawed off the shoulder flares and also cut off the Skaven symbol, leaving me with this. Fitting it to my orc's chest took snipping away the back and shoulder portion until it fits snugly against it. The one downside of the breastplate is that it didn't really leave room for a jaw plate. To fit it, I'd have to raise the head and that just looked anatomically inaccurate. After a lot of fiddling, I realized I didn't quite like how the breastplate had turned out. It had a little too much of a heroic and unorky feel to me. It actually really reminded me visually of the Necromunda Palantine Enforcers. Ultimately, I fixed some of the issue by scraping the breastplate clean, giving him a more defined ab area beneath and clearer clasps keeping it in place. The smaller claps I like better than the pauldrons, because while huge pauldrons are a mainstay of orc visual language, and really all Warhammer, they would have covered up his shoulder muscles which are important for his hulking silhouette. To finish up his armor, I used this kill a can arm and flash get gun parts to create leg braces just as I did with my first beast orc. To add just a little more muscle this time though, I glued these mini pistons on top. With his armor complete, it was time to arm my orc with a close combat weapon. The one I had in mind was this Contemptor Dreadnought Power Claw. It has a really powerful, shearing look to it that I love. My plan was to cut off my orc's forearm and replace it with the claw for a bionic limb. Unfortunately, it looked kind of terrible. The problem isn't the claw so much as his gun is already the focal point of him, and adding such a huge weapon unbalances where your attention flows. On top of that, the pose looked silly with him holding one weapon up and the other down. Luckily I have plenty of other Bulgore arms and just swapped the one I cut out for a new one. I also replaced the claw with a power axe. It's a little puny, more hatchet than axe, but all the knob chain axes were too big and took away from his gun as a focal point. I'm not entirely happy with it, but sometimes you just have to compromise. In all though, I'm fairly pleased with how my second beast orc turned out. He's just as hulking and huge as the first one, but this time with a more Daka focus. Let me know what you think in the comments and like this video if you liked it. I'll be converting one more beast orc, so subscribe if you're interested in seeing that when it comes out or check out my previous beast build. I also have a Patreon, so go check that out if you want to contribute to the channel and get a say in what I convert next. Thanks for watching.